Hey, folks, it's Fritgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator here in Boulder Canyon. We are continuing on with our mowing today. We're just going to see if this tractor will actually go all the way up through and do a full length pass on the field. I'm hoping it will. If it does, absolutely brilliant. That is fantastic. We can go and chop down just a few more logs over there while we wait for this one to finish. Uh, we'll also get the small tractor hooked up to the rake over there and have that one ready so that we can start doing our... Um, not our mowing, so that we can start doing... Right, what are you going to do now? Are you going to keep going straight forwards? You should keep going straight... Yes, nope, nope, you've... you've bitterly disappointed me there bitterly bitterly disappointed me there so I'll bring that one down to there and start going again hopefully on the next time next pass it will go up through there I'm hoping it will we'll see we'll, we'll let it come down here and turn around and, and then go around again um, yeah, we get the small track hooked up to the rake so that one's ready. And then this one should be able to go all the way up through and finish off mowing this field without any issues. I'm hoping we'll get this one finished without any issues. Uh, next time we do our mowing, like I said in the last episode, we will be hopefully having a second mower on the front of the tractor. I think it's time we did upgrade to a second mower on the front of the tractor. It's, it it kind of feels like it's needed. We've got this 15-acre field here. This is a big field that we've got. And so it definitely does feel like it's something that we, we need. We, 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 we want for everything to be able to progress properly. And now it's actually going through and cutting properly. It's getting over that little gap. Next time we do it, we won't cut out in such quite a wide circle on this side of the rock. We kind of do our main passes around the rock, uh, just like up and down on this side so that the tractor can turn round. But then the top and the lower sides, it doesn't need to be quite so extravagant. And that one's going to go up to there. So while that one turns around, we're going to go up here. I'm going to cut down a few more of the trees. We don't need to cut loads of them down, but I do want to cut a few more down so that we've got that. Uh, we've got some more ready. Uh, we've got one dodgy tree up here that needs to be, that will need to be picked up and moved. And then we come up through here with this little gap and it's sort of looking through there, isn't it? And that's roughly where the edge is going to be. Do I take down those three? I think I will. I, these are quite a way back from the edge of the field, but I'm going to take them down anyway, I think. We get we get rid of these three trees right here. We remove those completely. I know that we've got... that There's actually quite a bit of timber already on the ground, and we're going to have another huge amount of timber to go out along here as well. It's all money. That's, that's the main thing. It's, it's all extra money that is going to go into the kitty and go towards our... I, yeah, I, I, I don't know if I corrected it in the last episode. I said 350,000 for the Ponzi Scorpion. It's actually 450,000. It's 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 rather expensive. We do have a lot of money to save up for it. We we do have 50,000. We are 50,000 of the way there, so we're, we're at least making some progress, and I feel that is a good a, a step in the right direction. I'll go whizzing up through there and remove all of these. There we go. Actually, this tree is taller than I thought. I genuinely didn't expect this tree to be quite this big. Oh, there we go. Right, we've just taken the tip off there. So I'm going to come down and we'll go about there, I think. Yeah, that seems about right. And then... Ooh. I don't know if this is a full-grown tree or not. I'm, I'm going to assume that it's not quite full-grown. And so I'm going to go for three lengths. Although I think that may not be long enough. This one here, at least three. This one possibly could be a four. We'll see what it's like when it's down on the ground. And take that one off there like that. Chop you through. And then we'll go and check on our tractor over there. It's getting close to the end of the field now. It's getting very, very close to the end of the field. So we'll run up alongside this one. And once we've got that, once the tractor is available, we could always come up here and grab a load of timber and take that up to the sawmill and sell it a minute. 
Although I'm not actually in a particular tearing hurry to go and do that. Um, we've got... Let's just chop the end off of that. Right there. Uh, I think this one will be in two, three. We've got a load of baling that we want to do. And I'm thinking I'll probably leave most of the timber carting until after we've done all the baling. Because we can do twice around the field with the small tractor and rake and then once we've done our twice around the field with that uh then you know we could actually go and start doing that now let's just remove this tree right here i'll just take you off and then once i've cleaned up this one we'll go and get the tractor we'll go and get the small tractor and we will start doing some passes around the outside of the field because we can definitely do once all the way around the field and we can get the second pass most of the way around the field already um, so we're then ready to get straight on with the baling. At the moment, we've only got the round baler. And it's the, the normal round baler, so it does, like, leave little bits behind. It's not an ideal situation. I'm going to just jump into this one. Because this bit here, it might struggle with this bit. And this is the only time that we can jump from one tractor to another is when we've got hired help working in a field. So that we can go jump to the tractor working in the field, check on it, and then jump back to wherever we happened to be before we did that jump. So that, that is something that we've said is acceptable. And I thought it might... It does this very weird thing where it gets to the end of the line and then it does this. Sometimes it will eventually sort itself out. Other times... Not so much. So let's just... Right, if I go forward a little bit there, I don't think it's going to change anything. We'll bring this one back down here. And yes, I know we're still having to drive over the grass and do the mowing. Which is something that I don't like, but we're, we're just going to have to live with it. Right. It shouldn't take very long for it to finish this bit now, because we don't... This little bit here, this is only a very small part of the field, right? The main bulk of the field is all of that up there, which is a big field. That, that's, that is a lot of field. Okay, so we want to... cheat. no, I want to jump over to here now. I realise I've just teleported from up there down to here, which is kind of cheating. Even though I was technically, you know, using the allowed bit by jumping to him. Really, we should have gotten out of that tractor and then walked over to here, but... I'm sure you'll forgive me for a few minor little, you know, workarounds like that. Just just occasionally. So we'll pick that one up there. And we've got our magical floating rake now. Stuck out right in, in the middle of nowhere. I'm going to unfold this bad boy. Like this. There. And I'm not going to start this one here. I'm going to bring this. I'm going to go up a little bit like that. And I'll go to about there. Then I'll lower it down. And now we'll start working around the field. So I'd be able to do one pass all the way around the field without issue. I can't see that we'll have any problem doing one pass all the way around the field. And the second pass, probably not over the bit that we haven't yet cut. Because it's um, this is going to be too wide. Help! You have not completed your task at all. This is why people get annoyed with you. Because you lie. Whoever that hired help was, he's now been fired. He's, he's, he's been replaced. We, we'll get someone new. we get someone that takes a little bit of pride in their work and actually wants to do the work for a start. Okay, we bring that one over there. I'm hoping that maybe on the next round they will do it. Not quite cutting a full swath on that, but that's fine. Okay. Carry on with you. And it's like this edge here, it'd be really good if we could just set the hired help going right on the very edge and leave it go. But we know that we can't because of all the stumps underground here at the moment. So we will have to come back and find those and mark them out. Um, I think I may still have the Place Anywhere mod activated. I'm only supposed to have that one active on this series when I'm digging for tree stumps. So I will make sure that I have that one uninstalled again. Or not uninstalled, just not active on this map. Um, and what I will do 
is we'll be able to then use the normal landscaping mod and we can go the, not the mod the, the, the normal landscaping tools and we'll be able to just use that and you could just hover over the surface and you can work your way back across the field and mark roughly where all of the tree stumps are so we'll be able to like do a little bit down through until we find a spot where there's a stump and then you can just make a we can i don't know change the texture of the ground or something like that paint something different on it because you can paint over even when you can not alter the surface um and that will mark where the tree stumps are and if we go work our way back through we can use that there to sort of sound out where these tree stumps are and it's, it's just going to make our lives a little bit easier than digging a trench all the way down the full length of the field at least this is what i think that we could do but you may decide that you know really we ought to do something slightly different to that and we should in fact dig a trench all the way down the full length of the field because that way you sort of we're looking for those massive great big rocks that would be getting in the way now arguing against that in that the game refusing to allow us to work an area because it's saying um you know there's a tree stump under the surface so the hired help is not going to run over it with a mower that's a game mechanic that we don't really want and if we're to sort of accurately represent real life the only issue would be where a cultivator doesn't work and so you kind of identify where it is because of the cultivator uh, not working properly in that area or the plower getting caught up on it and that like marks it out so um i would say just um like going along the way we are where we had the cultivator and it was it wasn't working all the way up there was like a whole load of them technically we could have already marked it out um but at the same time maybe you do want me to be digging a trench the full length of the field and having to fork out the money for that and then going back through you know we remove the stumps and then we go back through and we fill that trench back in again so get into the comment section and tell me how you would like me to go looking for the tree stumps actually you know what? i'm going to leave that down and we're just going to sort of move into the next line uh, how do you want me to find the tree stumps along the edge of that field there how, how would you like me to go about it do you want me to um use like a, a painting tool and just mark out where they are so we can sort of find them like that using the landscaping to our advantage or do you want me to just start at one end here and dig a light trench all the way down the field and reveal the stumps like that as we dig a, a small trench and then go back over afterwards and fill it all back in again because uh, uh, we can do either we, the, you know both 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 options are viable both options can work it's just what you think as the viewers what do you think i should be doing do you think i should be doing it like that or do you think i should be instead of um like just just identifying one or two at a time do you think i should be digging i can't remember which way around i said this now to, should i dig a trench all the way down across the field or should i identify them one at a time and just dig uh, individual little holes to try and uncover where they are right we've, we've got two ways that we can go go about it uh which one do you think would most accurately represent real life for uh, finding these stumps and I'm arguing, I've, I've said this before, and, I'm, and I'll say it again. I think that we shouldn't be viewing the ones that are left under the ground as stumps, right? If, if this was kind of a real-life situation, we were carving this out of the wilderness, we can view those as boulders that are getting in the way, that are causing problems, so that we've got to dig down and we've got to dig them out. I know there's stumps in the game, but we could view them as boulders, as large unwanted rocks that are there and causing us issues so that we we need to go and remove them. And I quite like the idea of um, dealing with them like that. I really do. I think that is quite a plausible way of dealing with it. Right, we're going to stop right there. I'm going to switch that one off. And I'm going to switch over to this one, and we're just going to watch this bit. So we've only got a little bit left for uh, two rounds um, around the outside. Then we'll get the mower onto doing that, and we'll be able to go around and be able to bail them all up. And then once we've done that, the last final thing that we need to do with that lot is just go around, wrap them, uh, gather them up, and sell them. And those first few, I might actually take those back to the yard and just leave them on the trailer for now. 
then we'll go through, we'll row up, we'll bail all the rest of it, and after that, then we will go through and do the last bit with the bailing and all, all the rest of it. Um, and then get all the rest of the, the stuff bailed up and, and done. Um, well, I know what I can do. We can go back to this one a minute. I don't want to fold it, I just want to lift it. So we'll leave, we'll leave that one just to finish that bit off there. And in the meantime, we can just quickly run over to the rock... And we can just go round this one a couple times. We only need to go round it once, all the way round. And then we'll go twice round. We'll, we'll sort of, it's, it's going to be a, like an odd shape for twice round. And that should allow us to get a more even approach when we come to doing our rowing up. All the way round. So I bring you right round this way. Like that. And then it sort of will go up round and I missed a tiny little bit there right next to the rock. And then we bring it out like this. And that sort of comes up there. But at the same time, I'm then going to go back in like this so that I'm not like going way up into the field. Does this make any sense? Do you, un do you, do you kind of understand what I'm trying to achieve here? Come out like that, and then I'll go back in that way so I can gather up that little bit there that I missed. And straighten that out. Uh, we go to there. Okay. That's roughly what I wanted. It should allow me um, to be able to turn around with the rake and everything. It might be at this end of the rock just down here. There may be a little bit that it doesn't quite clean up properly. Because I don't think I went out far enough there. We'll see. Maybe I've made a mistake doing it like that. I'll find out in a minute. And then I want to bring you back around this way like this. Over there. That mower is just about done. The hired help is actually going to finish that job there completely. So I'll lower this one down here. And we'll carry on. Barely an interruption in the line. Uh, bring you over to there. And then we'll switch over to this one, and I'm going to let the hired help finish this job. We've got the hired help busy working on it, so we'll let the hired help do it. And just, just, Well, I say finish, but we'll let it do this pass. There might be a tiny, tiny little bit left, and I can't be bothered to wait for it. No, I can't be bothered to wait for it for, to do that, because it spends ages doing its turn. So I will do this little bit. But the hired help has done a wonderful job. We have now got our field all mowed, and... Oops, you know it would help if I actually had the mower engaged. It makes it a lot easier. There, turn the mower on. But we've done it. We, we've actually got all of this field cut now. So we bring our mower back. We can fold that one up. And before we do any more mowing, we'll buy another mower. So that we can get one on the front of this tractor. And that will make our lives just another little bit easier for everything that we do later on. And I'll bring you in round here. So we want to put the mower away. Um, yeah, having the extra mower on there, it's going to make the, the mowing itself is going to be a lot faster. And that is going to seriously improve everything. Unfortunately, I've got to drop the mower like that, which is not ideal. I'll just shut you off a second and we'll go back to you. And then... We can just finish this field off here. So we've got these tiny bits up the end here. And you can see we're just going over where the mower went right round the edges of the field. And I can bring it up through there. Only just though. I could probably have done both rounds around the outside without it being too much of a, an issue. There's, there is a little bit of overlap onto the grass that hadn't been cut. But not enough to be significant. I'm going to leave just a single row for the bit around our yard not this bit right here this bit here I will do a double pass on there like that I'm gonna come over to here and then I'm gonna stop here that's gonna be the edge of it right there I'm gonna go forward a bit we'll go forward as much as we can I think it's gonna be about there I reckon so I lift that one up and then I start folding it this one can just Pull back over this way, and we can leave it right over here somewhere. Doesn't actually matter where. Like that. 
you're done. So now we're going to get the baler. And we got almost two rounds plus a little bit around the main rock to do. And then we'll be able to get the wrapper on. Actually, I'll be able to use the wrapper. I could use the wrapper with the small tractor. That would work quite nicely on there. We've got three of our pallets now. I've got a little bit of wool in each. And that's the only annoying thing with these pallets is the way that they they fill up like that rather than filling up the whole thing. Before we start, let's just go over here. Lower you down and we'll bail up this little bit of grass that's, that's left down here. There, like that. There. Not a huge amount, but it's a little bit that we can gather up and then... Uh, let's just check the sheep themselves a minute and see how they're doing. We've got 11,299. So we'll put two bales of grass in for the sheep. So we'll leave two bales unwrapped and we'll bring those over and drop them in for the sheep. And then the rest of it will all be sold. So I'll start over this side. Straight over here. And drop that down like that. And we're away. There we go. Straight into our baling. We get these two rounds around the outside of the field all baled up. And you can already see... Well, that's, that's the, the, the keyboard steering there. You can already see that it's not a hugely thick crop on the ground here. It's, I mean, it's not bad, but it's not like record-breaking. Um, we could see that before anyway, just by the way that it was... Um, on the, just the way that it's sat on the ground there with the, the actual grass compared to the bit down over there. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how many bales we get or how, how much length in a straight line we take before we get a full bale compared to over there where we've got a full crop and how many we get over there in a full line. So I'll back up there a minute and let out the next one. Um, wow. Okay, two bales in that little short run there. If you sort of multiply that up and you think about how much we've got on this field and then we go to full yield grass for the next cut, there's going to be a lot of bales on the ground. We are go we're going to be dealing with a lot of round bales, which is a lot of time. That's the big thing is the amount of time that it takes to, to make these bales. So I'm, I'm sort of thinking that... The wrapper, you know, have, having our extra wrapper is good. And the fact that we've got it going a little bit faster than it was, that's also good. Um, a faster wrapper is definitely better. But did we ought to seriously consider getting a Stevie mod going on this one? I know that I've said, generally speaking, we don't want Stevie mods. But if I was to get the round baler wrapper combo from Stevie, this one... You know, I think most of you know the one. Um, but put some comments today about this one. This is mostly what I want. It's that one right there. I don't have a mod for it at the moment. I We've got these other mods over here. Like that's 125,000. That's 129. These are all rather expensive items. And so are all of these things for gathering them up. Everything is seriously, hideously expensive, which we don't like. But if you go back over to here, this one's $76,000. It's still very expensive. But we, we've we already got this roll belt right here, which is 4,000 liters. Um, it's $50,000. So we'll be able to sell that one and we get some money back for that, uh, which means that we should be able to pretty much swap them over. If I go here and I take a look at that, $35,000. By the time we take it back over to the dealership, we get a bit more than that. Uh, no, 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 no. I meant to press back, not sell. Goodness me. Um, I think Stevie has done one of these. So it wraps faster. And I think you can even increase the bale capacity on it as well. Although I'm not sure about the bale capacity. I would have to have a look at that. Uh, but I'm fairly certain Stevie has done a mod with it. If he has, would you like me to use it? Would you like me to start using that one instead of this one here that we've got? Um, the wrapping on it is fairly slow if you don't use a Stevie mod. If you do use a Stevie mod, it does do it fairly quick. If he doesn't have one, then I do have another one that I've used in a... Um, I used in the last live stream that I did. Uh, well, actually, it's not the last live stream for you. It's a live stream from a couple weeks ago now. 
Um, that one was modified by Duck Zorley. I do... Um, I have done some videos in the past where I've talked about him and provided some links to his channel. If you come onto the Discord, he's one of the administrators on my Discord. He's got his own channel by that name, Duck Zorley. Uh, you can go and look that up. He's an Australian guy. He does quite a few different um, videos. He's got some stuff going with Satisfactory at the moment. And he also does quite a few different uh, farming simulator things. Um, but he modified one of those balers, and the wrapper was, like, insanely fast. Like, it's, it's comically fast. Um, so that might be a little bit too much for a lot of you for a realistic series, that like the speed that Duck's All This One went. Uh, that, that may be a little bit much. And I'm not entirely sure if Stevie has actually done a modification on that round baler or not. We'd have to go and have a look. Um, but a modified version of it, that might be something that many of you consider acceptable. It might not. I don't know. You'll have to let me know in the comment section down below. We're getting a much better idea now of just how many bales we're going to be getting. Um, you can see that the, the gap between the bales up there compared to the gap in the bales down here is quite significant. There is a significant difference. So we're looking at a lot of bales i wouldn't I, i'm not really sure how many bales we would get out of this uh from a complete full yield of crop off of this field I, i've got no idea at the moment how much that would actually come to but i know that there's there's going to be a lot of bales we'll, we'll see in a minute how many once around the field has gotten us and that's just once around the field with most of that round being on uh, not even full yield grass. Most of the round is only on the first growth stage rather than the second growth stage. So there is a difference in the amount of grass that's actually going into the baler, and that's going to make an over. That's going to make a difference overall to what we're getting. See right there, it's now going to start moving to a slightly thinner yield. So I drop that down. At least we are picking up most of this grass. We do have that in its favour now. We are actually picking up most of the grass now. Um, hopefully it will continue to do so once we start working on the main bulk of the field. Now bring this over here. Right. I'm going to just make sure that one's completed so that we get a, an accurate depiction of how many bales and so on. There. Knock that one out. And I'm going to come back over this way. Right. So now let's just go in here and take a quick look at... So that button right there created bales 12 in just this set. once around the field we got 12 bales and you can see the difference in the distance over there compared to over this side it, there is a difference i mean it's not quite as significant as i thought maybe um but i would guess that we'd be looking at 15 maybe 16 bales in a complete round um if we had a full yield of grass on this Rather than what we've got at the moment. 15 or 16 bales at least on a full full round. It's going to be slightly less now going up through here. Because we like the overlap is slightly different. But it's still going to be... You know, I guess once you move over onto the full crop bit. It, you know it still is significant. We'll see. I, I don't really know at the moment. This, this is getting towards guesswork. We'll have just enough time, I should think, to be able to finish our round here. And we'll do around the rock. And then that's going to be about it. It's At least we've got like a bit of gap in between the bales here. Um, the one bit, like I've always said, that I don't like about round bales is how long it takes to make the bales themselves. We do make up for this with the wrapper because we've got a modded wrapper that I, you know, we, we can speed up. So you can have the wrapping um, procedure take it, go as fast as you like. Whereas if we go for square bales, if we were to upgrade and go and get a square baler instead of using this round baler and a round bale wrapper, we could go to the square bale wrapper, but that's a base game mod. And so I don't have one that goes any faster at the moment. I could look at trying to get one that's faster and look around for some mods. Maybe someone's altered one. Um, 
and use that one instead. It would be great if I can find one. I don't know if Stevie's done one of those or not. I don't know if... I, I See, I don't know if he's actually touched the original balers or not anyway. Um, I, I'm not quite sure about that. But, yeah, if we can go and find a square bale wrapper that we can tweak the speed on and just increase it by, say, 50% 50, 50 or double the speed or something like that, um, I think that that would end up being a better experience for us because then we've got a square baler that we can run up and down the field with. And a square baler that we run up and down the field with is a lot easier than running up and down the field with this one because of not having to stop. Right? It's having to stop that is the time-consuming bit. Constantly stopping to let the bales out. And that's, that's kind of the bit that I've never liked about using the round baler anyway. It, it always sort of seems to be... Um, it, it, it makes the whole process of making the bales faster. Even though you've got to go along afterwards and wrap them up and you could use a faster wrapper, uh, you've still got to go in between each bale and you've got to pick it up and you've got to wrap it and you've got to do the same with the square bales. I still think it's faster even when you've got a slower wrapper with the square bales because of the amount of time you save with the square baler itself. You're just literally racing up and down the rows, um, throwing bales out the back. Uh, whereas this, this constant stopping, this is what really slows it down. Now, we had the Crone Ultima in FS15, and again, it came back and made a return in FS17. And the Crone Ultima was an absolutely wonderful beast because it allowed continuous bailing. You could keep going without stopping. It had a pre-compression chamber and it started forming the bale uh, before it was moved over into the main chamber. So the, the track to the, the actual baler would slow the tractor down um, with the control box that it had that you have between the baler and, and the tractor. So you'd sort of have them joined together. Um, but by having those joined together like that... It means that when the baler is still taking a bit of time to, like, move the, the bale over or it's taking longer than expected to do the wrapping, uh, the, the baler just basically says to the tractor, hang on, hang on a minute, sunshine, just, just, just slow up a little bit. We've still got to get this little bit through here and then it would slow up a little bit and it'll allow you to get that little bit through and then it would carry on and you'd pick back up to full speed again. And I think it's absolutely wonderful. And the biggest single disappointment that I have had... Well, I, I say the biggest... One of the... A disappointment. Let's, let's just go with a disappointment. One of the disappointments that I've had with this game is the fact that they have not included a continuous feed round baler in the base game. I was very disappointed that we've not had any kind of continuous feed round baler because they are actually starting to get more popular. They... They were being made for a while, and then they kind of, like, died down for quite a bit. A lot of people weren't overly interested in them, um, because it was felt that round bales had kind of seen their day. But there's still large areas of the world that use exclusively round bales, because you can store round bales outside. You cannot store a square bale outside. Right, you've got to get it under cover because it's square. There's nowhere for the water to run off the bale. It's you've got to store it under cover. There's no option to this. Whatever, it's, it's not a choice. You you store it under cover or your bale is ruined. Whereas round bales, you can bale up hay and you can bale up um, uh, you can bale up hay and you can bale up straw. And both of those products, you can store them outside on the edge of the field. The outside couple of inches will get spoiled. Um, well, up to a couple of inches. Some bales, uh, like, they can bind them up really tight, and it's not even a couple of inches. It's literally just like an inch on the outside of the bale. Uh, that will get spoiled, but that's it. That's all you lose. And then the rest of it stays really good. It's like a, it's a very, very small amount of crop that you actually end up losing. And... It's really, really good, and that's what makes round bales so good. And because of this, a lot of people still use round bales, and so the whole idea of continuous feed round balers, it's it's still gaining momentum. Pe people are still seriously looking into investing into continuous feed round balers rather than non-continuous feed just because of the extra 
um, convenience of the round bales. And then having a continuous feed baler is a huge, huge time saver. Like, massive. And time is starting to become more and more valuable for people. Right, I'm just going to start changing this over. But we have run out of time for today. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.